I'm finally starting my first hardcore world, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit scared. I spawned on this little island surrounded by water and some nice trees over there. Oh, and some horses. I'm already loving it here. My priority is, of course, to gather as many flowers as I can. I'm kidding, of course. I need to chop down a tree first. Now the crafting table and some easy wooden tools. Ooh, there's an underwater ravine here, maybe. Yes, there is some iron down there. Should I risk drowning to get it? I think I should. I need to get a stone pickaxe first, though. Three iron isn't too bad, I would say, but now I definitely need to get a bed next and not get distracted. Okay, one last distraction, though. That is so satisfying. And then I got so distracted that I ended up on a stone shore in the cold, in the dark, with only a furnace and a crafting table to keep me company, and the dreadful mob growling in the distance. I think I'm gonna dig myself a hole and hide there. I'll see you in the morning. I'm not scared. I was so scared, but I smelted some iron and made myself a shield, so now I can protect myself from mobs. I'm gonna keep traveling on my boat and I kinda wanna check out this dark oak forest here, or at least get a couple saplings from the tree so I can grow them anywhere. This tree here looks safe unless something decides to jump me from the hill. Why am I so scared in this game? Four saplings, let's go! Yeah, let's get out of here. Is that what I think it is? I could definitely get some good stuff. Oh, and there's an air pocket here so I won't drown, that's good. Ooh! Moss. I love to see that. There's usually another chest around. Oh wait, there is! Yes, it's the one with the treasure map. I think I'm gonna check this out later. I still have a bed to find. It's getting dark again and I have seen literally every single mob except sheep. Wait, oh my gosh, sheep! Finally, please give me three wool. No, I only got two of the same color. Wait, I think I can big brain it and dye the gray wool white. No, it doesn't work. Can I dye the white wool gray though? Yes! Oh my gosh, I can! A bed! Finally, I can sleep! I'm so happy. That sheep is literally laughing at me right now. Then I found some more iron in a cave entrance. I was too scared to go down deeper, but I got enough iron to smelt it down and craft my first piece of armor. I only have enough for the chest plate, but it will do for now. I'm not that scared anymore. Okay, it's getting dark. I'm scared. Sleep, 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 sleep. Now I feel safe enough to make the journey across the sea and find out where the treasure map leads me. I think it's over there in the savannah. Okay, it's somewhere in the water. I think I found it. Ooh, yes! And I'm gonna drown. I've been exploring this world a lot, but I kinda also wanna find a nice place to call my home. As you can see on this map, I've traveled really far, but I think I'm gonna go back to the birch forest, because there seems to be a nice plains biome nearby. On my way to the plains, I came across this huge tiger, but I also found a pillager outpost. I kinda wanna try to loot it now, because the stuff in there is only useful for the early game. I just need to be careful and not touch the berry bushes, as delicious as they may look. Oh, there's already a guy here trying to kill me from behind. You know, I'm really glad I made that shield now. I'm just gonna bridge across to the top floor so I don't meet any more of those grey guys. Let's see if the loot was worth it. Nope. Literally just junk. Okay, I've finally arrived in a pretty plains biome. There are cute hills and a river. I think this is home. There are horses! This is definitely home. Wait, and there's a village on the hill. This is absolutely and most definitely home. I think before I steal from the village, I need to empty my inventory somewhere. Ooh, a cave. What was that? Okay, scary noises. Nope, I'm out. There is some stone here. I think this is the perfect spot for a campsite. And a campsite needs a campfire. Is it just me or can you hear lava noises? Or is that just the campfire? Oh yes, there is lava right underneath me. This could have gone very wrong. I guess we're living dangerous now and camping on the lava. I'm scared. I'm absolutely terrified. Let's raid the village. Oh look, there's a villager. Wait, I didn't realize they have a mouth. That's so creepy. I can't unsee it now. Okay, the little guy's kind of cute though. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just gonna go take some of your crops. Okay, I took all of it. Oh, he replanted it. I didn't know they could do that. Well, the loot isn't good here either. Those poor guys literally have nothing but bread and are living over huge caves. Poor mountain peasants. Thank you guys kindly for the weed and the hospitality. Uh, have a nice day. Ah, oh, there's an enderman. No, 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 no. And back to Camp Lava Hill we go. That noise still scares me. As frightening as this hill might be, it is home for now and I want to turn this into a real campsite. For that I'm gonna need shears. And actually, I can just craft the rest of my iron armor while I'm at it. Yay, first full set of armor, let's go! I'm gonna make a tent, so I need to find some sheep. I think it's easier if I just put them in an enclosure though. That'll do for now. I literally woke up to this rainbow. What? This is so beautiful! This marks the beginning of our new home. I think I have enough wool for my little tent now, but I'm missing spruce wood, which I forgot to pick up because I was so scared of the pillager outpost. 
Looks like I have to go back. Ooh, look, it's a meadow biome. Nope, no distractions. This is where we want to go. New worlds are always so exciting and distracting. Ooh, bees. Nope. And that's not how you use an axe. Alright, got the wood and some saplings, so let's get back home. Okay, I do have to pick up those flowers though. Alliums are one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna put the tent right here. I'm gonna start with a spruce frame that is basically a roof shape. And then I just need to add some wool in between. Now some support pillars and fence gates for mob protection. And then move all my stuff inside, so I'm just gonna break this and hope I'm fast enough so it doesn't despawn. Oh, the wandering trader just walked right in here! Hello there! You don't really have anything I want and I don't have any emeralds, sorry. Wait, there is one thing I want from you though. Leads, yes! Okay, trader, you can stay here and make yourself at home and I'm gonna get a horse. Yes, there's a horse down there. I can't ride it yet, but I'm still gonna bring it with me. Oh, my stuff is gonna despawn! Wait, horse! No, not on the fire! No horse! I'm gonna put you here for now until I get a saddle. Be safe now, horse. Be safe. This tent is just the beginning though because I'm going to make a huge starter house which is gonna take a long time to make. So in the meantime, this tent will keep me and my resources safe from creepers. And camping is kind of fun too. I decorated the campsite a bit more with a little stone circle and a path. And I left some signs so I don't forget I'm standing on top of a lava pool. Now that I have a safe campsite, I wanna make a start on the starter house. And I think I'm gonna put it right here. I just need to level out the land and gather some supplies to build. It took many stone shovels, but it's looking much better now. It's all flat and ready to be built on. I literally have nothing except flowers and a bit of wood, so I'm the poorest peasant in this world. Not as poor as the mountain peasants over there though, which means I need to become less poor and less scared. I want to get a lot of spruce wood first, and I've already planted saplings that grew into the big trees. I only just now realized how high up I am and how easily I could fall and lose the world. Whoopsie, I didn't even think about that. But look at this place, it's so beautiful and it's a new home. But I have all the spruce and now I can lay out the foundation of the house to see if it even fits in the area I cleared out. So basically I'm just laying out the spruce floor and worry about the rest later. Yes, this is gonna be the first floor, it just needs walls. But I realized I'm actually running pretty low on food so I need to make a quick crop farm first. I did get all the seeds from the villagers, but I really just want the wheat and the potatoes. I just need to smelt out my last iron for a bucket. Okay, I'm gonna put the farm right here next to the starter house and it's hopefully gonna look nice once the build is done. Now I'm gonna plant rows of wheat seeds one block apart from each other because I heard they grow faster when there's a one block gap with other crops. The potatoes go in between, but we only have four of them yet. While the crops grow, I'm gonna decorate it a bit and add some stone slabs around it. I only have cobble right now, but I'm gonna change it once I get some andesite and other stones. Ooh, and maybe a fence in the back, and then some rose bushes in front of it, and then they look like tomatoes growing on the fence. Yeah, that's kinda cute. I also put a composter over here so I can turn my extra seeds into bone meal. I think this place needs some leaves around it too. Yeah, that's perfect, and the crops are growing already so I can have my baked potatoes soon. Okay, now the food situation is sorted, but I still need to build the house because I'm so scared in my tent. I want the walls to be made out of smooth sandstone, which can be a bit of a grind to get. So I went on a mini journey to find some sand. I think this beach here will do. I'm just gonna destroy it and hopefully it's enough. Because four sand only makes one sandstone block and then I have to smelt it too. I really hope this will be enough, otherwise I'll just have to come back. Oh, there's a friend in my boat. Be free, turtle friend. Oh, they are drowned. Let's get out of here. I'm scared. I think I'm gonna make more furnaces to speed things up a bit. Just gonna put all the sandstone in here and it's smelting time. I have the sandstone, a food source and an idea for my safe house. But I'm still missing an important block, which I need to get underground. I felt really confident, so I made a sword, gathered all my courage and ventured down into the massive cave, hoping to grab the things I need without getting hurt by mobs. And then I got scared like halfway into the cave. Okay, Savaris, you got this. You won't be scared of creepers and zombies and I'm scared. I hate this. There has to be a safer option to mine blocks without having to dodge skeleton attacks, right? I think the best way to do this is to run away really fast and then I'm going to dig a staircase down from my starter house because I'm going to need a lot of deep slate, so I better get started. Well, I finally hit deep slate level without any mobs jumping me. This way of mining is so much better because I'm getting tons of building blocks just by digging down and no mobs. I dug this huge tunnel all the way down and then I came across a geode, at least that's what I think it is. How lucky is that? I'm just gonna pick up some of those beautiful crystals. I only get the shards though because I don't have silk touch, but they could still be useful, right? 
I did some relaxing mining until my inventory was full. I didn't find anything except Deep Slate, which I was after anyways, and I broke like six pickaxes. Nothing like some nostalgic hardcore mining. I was so scared the entire time. All the sandstone has been smelted while I was gone too, and it's getting dark. I'm scared! Okay, now I can build up the beams and the walls of the house. I'm gonna go up nine blocks with spruce logs. And then strip them because it looks much cozier that way. For the next part, I actually need to go grab some birch wood first. I'm also gonna plant some trees around the area so I can quickly chop some wood whenever I need more. I'm gonna make my own forest. Now I have all the materials to make the walls. On this side, I'm gonna mix up the sandstone with other blocks because it would be kind of bare otherwise. Yeah, that's a really nice texture. Okay, now I have both walls and I think I want to break the first spruce logs here and replace it with a barrel. Yeah, that looks nice. Now I just need to do the rest of the walls. I think what I'm gonna do now is break these two blocks here and replace them with stairs and then the window overhang is kind of built into the pillars on this side. It sounds complicated but it just looks really nice. I did it on both sides and I love it. For the windows I'd love to use some colored glass. I might have magenta dye from the flowers. Yes, lilacs give me magenta dye, that's perfect. I like to use a glass block in the middle and then glass panes on the sides. I started using colorful windows recently and I really love how much they add to the build. I want to put a nice steep slate roof on top but it's gonna have a dark oak trim. I think I need to go back to the forest and grab more saplings because I only have two left. I'm really scared. Again. This time I took more than four saplings just to be sure and I want to go to this creepy place over and over. I love this roof. It's like a magical fairy house, especially because of those curls at the top. I don't know how to describe them, but they're cute and they look like a plant and fairy magic. And on the sides here are stripes and I love them. I'm sure you can tell I'm really bad at describing my builds, but they look cute. This build is huge. How did I do that with stone tools? I left this party in the middle open though, because I wasn't sure what to put here. Ooh, what about a balcony? Yes, I want a balcony. Maybe start with sandstone and then go up with walls. And lastly, some buttons around it. It looks kind of Italian. I like it. And most importantly, I want to make this house safe because I'm definitely not scared. I'm not scared. Yeah, some fence gates so only I can get to the door and bushes and fences around the sides and a big flower pot with a bush. Yes, I love that. It's very safe. And lastly, the door. But there's a big thing missing. I'm missing my cottagecore vibes. I want to have more leaves and cute stuff around the house. Okay, how about a cozy flower bed in front of this window? Yeah, that's so cute. I also added a smaller one here and I made big hanging leaf vines on the roof. I'm probably gonna regret using my last iron for this, but I really need lanterns to decorate the house. Just a couple in the entrance to keep me safe from mobs. And the last one over my crop field. Wait guys, I heard some weird noises from the caves. Oh, they're in here and they are shooting each other. Bye losers, enjoy your cave, bye. I would also like to get started on the interior. It's a bit empty, but I can make it cute. I'm gonna put some chests here for a nice bulk storage. I'll add the rest once more trees have grown. And I already put stairs in the ceiling so I can open all the top chests too. Aw, I just saw all these horses from my window. That's such a lovely view. Oh wait, he sees me. Nope, that's scary. Like he looked right into my soul. All right, that was creepy. And now I want to have a staircase leading up to the second floor. I came up with this kind of concept and definitely not going to fall down the staircase. Very safe house. And I just broke something. And then I want to have some furnaces in front of the window and then some barrels and chests where I'm going to store all the food and maybe some of my old shovels and pickaxes. I also started putting a block in front of each chest so I know where I store which resources. And this place also needs some cuteness, like a pink carpet. And that reminds me, I forgot to add the most important thing ever. It's like the most important thing a Minecraft world needs. Trust me, it will make a huge difference and blow your minds. Flower pots. And then I can add all the cute flowers. Oh my gosh, I love this. And then upstairs, I want to keep it very open, but I made these hanging shelves full of greenery. And this is where my bedroom is. I made myself the cutest and coziest bed ever. I also want to connect this path from my campsite over to my house. 
Maybe on this hill I can make some sort of natural path leading down. And then a bit of coarse dirt here and there. And also some greenery and little pebbles. And now it's all connected. I was so scared of, well, everything. But now I have a beautiful house to hide in. But the thing is, I'm an adventurer. And this endless world is still waiting for me to launch myself head on into danger. I hope you enjoyed the first hardcore episode. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.